Hello and welcome. Now in this video we are going to go through <coughs> Hello and welcome. Now in this video we're going to go through a specific item on the create a page. Hello and welcome. Now in this video we're going to go through some specifics on the page creation system in Clockwork Funnels. Now when you go into the create new page area and this is going to be the case if you go into the page creation for a blank page or even one of the templates you are going to come to the first opening and it's going to be for page headers and you are going to be able to drag and drop one or even multiple elements into your pane and you're going to then be able to add your logo or anything else that you want to do. Now once you've drug, now once you have that, now once you have that, now once you have the logo paint in, what you're going to do is click right inside of there. And then you are then going to be able to insert your own image. If you click insert an image, then you're going to get a menu item that will allow you to upload your own image or to select one from your gallery. Once you have the gallery up, you can just click one of the photos that are there. And that will then add to your gallery. You can then center the photo inside of that element. And once you're done, all you've got to do is click outside of the box. Now, if you want to go back and edit that image, you'll just click inside of the box. You'll see that you're going to have the WYSIWYG editor there. You're also going to see the page editor. Now, what you're going to see there is that you can copy this entire header block. You can add a, a countdown clock. But in this case, we don't have a countdown clock. We're not setting one up, so we're going to not use that menu. If you had an autoresponder piece in here, you could add that to the header, but we're not going to do that or even to change the background image. If you wanted to change the color of this background image, you could by clicking this button. Or once you had it, if you wanted to delete it altogether, you could by going to that button. And then your header would be as it was before you started. You can actually uh, you can <coughs> you can actually install one where the logo is going to be to the left or to the right. Or you can have a logo and the menu. So what you want to do is to customize your logo or the header in the way that you want it to be by using these page elements. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.